I joined Cedar Pass because um, of all the different programs that I was looking at, it did have that travel element and looking at the faculty bios online, I was just so impressed by the diversity of faculty. And so I think going to different cities and being able to write about those experiences, because that's the kind of writing that I do want to do, um, it's just been invaluable to me. I really trusted the faculty. I could see that everyone on board was an established, successful, published writer. The program made me a writer. I don't even know that I could say that it changed my writing because I started writing with the program. It's, this program has helped you know, me become more comfortable in writing my own personal stories. I know that there are some good pieces that I've written and it's because of the fact that I've worked with amazing professors that have said go deeper, go further, explore this more, and really been encouraging throughout the three years of this course. I think that having different cultures and different perspectives and somebody who is multilingual is an addition to the program because it is an international program. I feel broader as a person. Um, I've explored myself. I've, I've explored literature more deeply. I don't want to stop. I had a lot of fun in the program. The program brings together people from all kinds of different countries and we're all different ages. I made friends who are in the 20s and we laughed a lot. <laughs> we giggled. <laughs> So for me to be able to plug into different people and actually share my work, get feedback, push it a little bit, ask questions, huge for me was having deadlines and an end game because I can just, like a lot of writers, float on and on and on. So that was huge for me. It's, it, I completed a body of work. I have a book from this program. I think that as a graduate program in creative writing, we put a large emphasis on both process and product. So students come in and they uh, engage in intensive critique in the workshop setting and they're focused, their focus is primarily on creating the best text, the best work, the best book that they possibly can. But we also, um, as a program, are committed to then helping them take that work and shape it into something that is ready to become a product, to become publishable. We have an exciting development within our program. We're going to be offering travel writing as a concentration uh, within our genres, in addition to the traditional nonfiction, fiction, and poetry. I think travel unsettles us in the best possible way. It shakes us up. It gets us outside of our comfort zone. And as writers, you know, once you get too comfortable, <laughs> then uh, it's it's hard to really uh, regain that creative spark. And so to keep yourself sharp uh, means to get out into the world in ways that aren't exactly familiar and comforting to you. And it makes your work more interesting and, and richer. And so our residencies really do that. And I see it in our students' work. It's reflected back to me. Well, Dublin was Scratkin Street, Dawson Street, St. Stephen's Park, the Trinity Campus. A trip in Barcelona when we went to the uh, Champagne place was pretty fun. <laughs> I think Vienna has become my favorite because there is a vibe here in the city. It's not overrun with tourists and not gasping for air. There's room to move and breathe and explore. I make friendships every year, new friends. So it's sort of build it, build it, building each year. I'm just, so I'm just, even though I'm graduating, I'm just gonna have to come back to the next city. That's what I'm thinking. So, and just be, be a shadow. <laughs>